Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. Today I've got another toy store tour at Toys R Us. Now, this is the biggest location here in Calgary, Alberta. I'm actually kind of excited about it because it's been three months since my last toy store uh, trip to, to a Toys R Us. So, I'm excited to see what they have. I'm mildly optimistic. I don't know if Toys R Us changes their stock that quickly. Definitely not as quickly as some of these awesome comic book stores that I've been to lately, but it's still a toy hunt. I'm still looking for Batman the Animated Series figures, ones that I might not have. But if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, smash the subscribe. Let's get into it. I gotta say I'm a little bit surprised how empty the parking lot is considering the time of day. It's easily 5.30 and it seems like there's nobody here. Now, I mean, I'm okay with that to a point. Who wants to fight off some little kid if you don't have to? But you never know. These stores are pretty huge. There is some parking around the side, so we'll, we'll take a look and see. As you guys heard in the car, I am toy hunting today for Batman, the animated series. But it's hard to know what's gonna be here, right? I mean, Toys R Us, it's been three months since I've been here last, like I told you guys in the car, but I don't know how often Toys R Us really changes their stock levels. Unlike these little comic book stores I've been to, like those guys turn their stock like crazy. But I am taking a look for the Hammond collection here as well. So during this toy hunt, if I see a Hammond collection, I'm going to be letting my buddy Zach know over at Collecting Weekly, uh, because they are pretty cool dinosaurs and I know he's been looking for some. These are not them, however. I think I mentioned in a previous toy tour, I had a raptor as a kid that I absolutely loved. I carried that thing around with me everywhere and it was from the original Jurassic Park movie. These guys are cool, but they definitely seem a little bit more like toys. Maybe for kids, it's hard to know. It's, it, I guess maybe there's an age range on it, but the prices are a little higher than I would expect though. Maybe that's just showing my age? It's hard to say. I also know that the Lego hasn't necessarily turned, but like, look at the size of this store. It's freaking huge. I'm always gonna take a look for end cap stuff as well. You just never know in a place like Toys R Us what's gonna just randomly be on sale because it's slow moving stock. Like these things are kind of cool. I honestly feel like these are almost six scale TVs. Like part of me wants to get one for my Deadpool or something, you know? P you know, put his feet up on the couch, watch some tube man, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. But I think these are kind of cool. And I like that there's a different representation for Star Trek and Batman, Jurassic Park, Big Bang Theory, that's pretty cool. Friends, like that's awesome. I don't know what you would do with them 90% of the time unless you paired them with a, a figure or something along those lines. Like maybe that's what people do, but yeah, we'll see. What are these guys? Okay, so we see these quite a bit at some of these other locations. But again, like the Hunchback of Notre Dame, that's pretty cool. The Borg is pretty cool. Borg always stands out to me. Ah, I haven't seen a Green Ranger at many of these other locations. It's always the Red Ranger. And that Xena just makes me laugh freaking every time. I also like that creature from the Black Lagoon. That's pretty cool. Lagoon is a hard word to say, kind of. Magneto, that's awesome too. I really like the packaging with that Magneto. That's cool. What do we got over here? Lots of Pokemon stuff. Wow. I mean, this brings me back to childhood, especially playing it on the old Game Boys. It was Pokemon Red that I played the most. That or Silver, I played a lot of Silver as well. But these are pretty cool. I like these, you know, plush animals. I, I like. I honestly wouldn't collect it for my own collection, but I can see the appeal for folks, especially if you love Pokemon. Like this is pretty cool. Pikachu being a badass, gotta love to see it. It's Mewtwo, one tenth scale. I kinda like that, it's kinda nice. Packaging was sweet too. Super Mario, very classic for a Toys R Us. Oh, that's cool. I like that castle actually, Bowser's Castle, that's quite nice. Charmander was always my jam back in the day. But these three are the, you know, the iconic three, right? So, what do we got over here? Oh, d and nice. I've been wanting to start looking into getting into it, but 
It seems like an undertaking, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I need a bit of a mentor. I also feel like it's a slippery slope though. For me, just having that collector mentality, I know that if I got into it and I gotta do it hard, I'd wanna start collecting things from it. It would be just, it would be a slippery slope, 100%. What do we got up here? A couple Pokemon card sets, that's pretty cool. Man, this store is jam-packed with Pokemon stuff. It's not really what I'm here to look for, but I think it's kind of cool. I want to show you guys anyways. A ton of stuff, wow. What's down here? Oh, you could put your weed in there. Love to see it. Okay. What's over here? I want to start seeing some toys. Oh, these caught my eye though. Cool packaging. Again, not something I'd buy myself, but kind of funky. What's over here? Oh, the Hawkeye, nice. Netflix Witcher as well. It's one of those ones that I start like wanting to collect every time I see it, but then don't necessarily think about it again after the fact, so it tells me that I probably don't need it in my basement location. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. A Kylo Ren thing I like as well. Godzilla vs. Kong. Love to see it. My Hero Academia. Still not something that I've got into, but I really do appreciate these figures. I love the coloration on them. The packaging is kind of simple, but it doesn't matter. It's cool. I think they're, the figures are funky. Also League of Legends. I don't even really truly know what League of Legends is. I, I think it's a game, I have no idea. I know I'm gonna get laughed at in my chat, that's okay. I have one chat member who watches all the shows, listens to all the, the toy tours, and then gives me a great education after the fact, so I appreciate that, <laughs> 100%. Casey Jones, you love to see it. Oh, it wouldn't be a toy store hunt without the Cobra Kai turtle. This Rat King and Vernon toy, also just love it, absolutely love it. And this guy, easily one of my favorite episodes of the Ninja Turtles ever. That one might come home with me, I'm not gonna lie. Every time I see it, it makes me just like want to buy it. Coraline. Yeah, the Eastman and Laird uh, turtle uh, droid there. What else do we got? Oh, that kind of reminds me of my Peter Pan figure that I showed in my Ben's Toy Box video the other day. That doesn't really look like uh, Riker, I'm not gonna lie. This little guy is awesome though. That's Armus from Skin of Evil. He's the guy that killed Tasha Yar in Star Trek. That's amazing. I also love that Casey Jones and April O'Neil. Classic figures, absolutely classic. That penguin, eh? That's awesome. Now we're definitely getting close to what I think is going to end up being my favorite part of the store. But I did want to show you everything that's here. So far, I like the store, but I'm seeing a lot of the same things. So I think on this other shelf, that's going to switch it up a little bit. It's going to make it uh, more of an impactful store, but we'll see how it goes. Ooh, I like this Baraka. Baraka wins. Used to use them all the time. Loved the blades, so cool. And I've been really enjoying the Umbra Umbrella Academy, honestly. I, I thought it's been a pretty decent show. The third season's lost me just like ever so slightly, but I can't really hate on it for anything specifically. It's just, I think maybe I've been watching it too late at night. <laughs> this guy's cool. Again, not the first time I've seen him, but each time I see him, I'm like, maybe one day. What else do we have here? Geralt of Rivia. Okay, this is the section I was excited to show you guys. So I'm gonna try and go through all of these one by one. So if I feel like I'm fumbling the camera on you a little bit, I apologize. But I did wanna show this all to you because it's a pretty cool little section. Got some King Kongs, quite a few different options. And the price point here is pretty good for these ones, I must say. Don't mind my Pose Wars sticker in the background here. Apologies. Oh, I've seen these guys before. I like the coloration on that, though. That's pretty freaking cool. Apologize for the glare. 
not a lot we can do, especially with the overhead lighting that we've got above, but doing the best. Because I want to show you the cool stuff anyways. The Wolfman's cool. Now the Predator has been hot lately, of course, because of the movie Prey, which I would 100% recommend if you guys haven't somehow not seen it. <laughs> it was awesome. It made me have an appreciation for the Predator movies again. Uh, I rewatched the Arnold Schwarzenegger one, which I really enjoyed. Watched number two and had to watch it in two sittings. I ended up falling asleep kind of halfway through. But Danny Glover in that movie is a badass. I will give him that. I like this Marty McFly. I like that he comes with the head sculpt with the glasses and the guitar, that's cool. I think that's one thing that the 2.0 Marty from Hot Toys release was lacking was that guitar. I know that it helps retain the original value, but I think I could have used it. Oh, that's cool. The T-1000, that is a really cool set. Look at the split head there. That's really nice. Goddamn. Always find things that you don't think you're going to find that you then immediately want. There must be so many suits of Michael Myers now at this point. Look at that headpiece. That's freaking terrifying. I like that it comes with the jack-o'-lantern, though. That's really cool. Hellraiser scared me as a kid. I, I remember I watched it way too early in life, and I don't know. Something about it just freaked me out. Didn't like it. I don't even have an issue with, like, needles or I know they're nails, but yeah, I don't know. Alien figure is pretty cool. Xenomorph. I think. I wonder. Well, I should say, I wonder if now with the popularity of Prey, if we're going to see something similar with the Aliens franchise. You know, seeing the alien go after, a, you know, a pre kind of civilized uh, human species or not. I wonder. Always love the gremlins. <laughs> this one's funny. Oh my god. Definitely the stripper gremlin. Ultimate Greta is her name. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow, this guy's cool. I like his little trench coat. It's really hard to show this to you and also open these boxes without tearing them, so I apologize for the camera work here, guys. <laughs> what do we got? Ooh. Wow, look at the baseball hat, too, with the G on it. That's amazing. They're really creative with some of these gremlins. This is like an entirely filled, just like horror section with these types of figures. This is amazing. That guy's cool. The Jason. Really like that. Really cool, Jason's. The machete. I don't even know which one of these I'd want. I don't think I've seen all the Friday the 13th movies. That might be one that I revisit at some point. Maybe over Halloween. Last year I watched all of the Halloween movies again, the Michael Myers films. Which I enjoyed quite a few of them, honestly. There were some really good ones in there. That's creepy. What Jason's face looked like under the mask. Gotta love it. Wow, there's a lot of Freddies here. And I should say Jason's. A lot of Jason's. Sorry, I saw the Freddy vs. Jason coming. That's looking cool as well. Look at the blood on the pants. Good detail on these things for 60 bucks. You could have a whole horror set up. Ooh, there's a ghost face. That's cool. I'm not get ahead of myself here, though. That's a cool Jason. I love to see it. from Evil Dead, the figure. Love to see it. I was excited to see this ghost face. This might come home with me today. I really like this. That's amazing. I like the different head sculpts with it. That's cool. The Thing. I had a PlayStation game that was called The Thing back in the day, based on this film. It was an awesome game, for the time anyways. I don't know if it would hold up well now, but... Back then, it scared the heck out of me, but it was passable. Like it was, it was a fun game to actually play. American Werewolf in London, crazy. 
I don't think I've seen this figure in hand yet. That is really cool. I love toy hunting because you just never know what you're going to find in some of these stores. And even the fact that it's Toys R Us and we've seen some of the other aisles, like these are standouts. Like this is a reason to just come to this location again in the future. Especially over Halloween or getting close to Halloween. I might add, you know, just a handful into my collection. Might be a fun, fun way to go. The mummy even and trick or treat. Like trick or treat for me is like, that feels like a deep cut in terms of the store figures, but... Karloff, Boris Karloff, that's awesome. Frankenstein, that's awesome. Like the actual original ones, and Puppet Master, like what? Clearly, whoever manages the inventory in this location likes horror figures. <laughs> you can just imagine going to his boss, you know. All right, Gary, we're gonna need some uh, horror figures downstairs. The little kids are gonna need to be afraid as they walk through the toy aisles. Like, look at this, this is crazy. Oh, that one doesn't open on the front, shit. Let's see if it's got on the back. Oh yeah, kinda still see it, it's pretty cool. It's like a dual set, I like that. Or a double pack. Pennywise. If I were going to get a Pennywise, it would be in this scale. I wouldn't get a six scale Pennywise, just not really for me, but I do like the character. And I did think that the Skarsgård uh, actor played this Pennywise better than the original. Even though I may be blasphemous, I just like the performance better. So we got karaoke machines over here, kind of close to it. Ring lights. Everybody is an internet superstar these days, don't you know? Roblox. That's awesome. A good little set, actually. Got the Pac Man arcade machine. Love to see it. Pop section doesn't look like it's changed that much. I did a quick walkthrough before I came into the store here just to see what uh, pops they had. And so I'm going to show you guys a few, but probably we'll skip a bunch of them. I do want a Peacemaker, though. Some some way in my collection, but now that Hot Toys has updated their Peacemaker head sculpt for John Cena, I honestly think I'm gonna go with that one. I like what they did with that, and I loved the show. I did not get through one episode without watching those beginning credits. So, what else is here? Anything that stand out? Apologies, moving through this one just a little bit faster than normal, guys. All oh, these pins are really cool, though. That Skeletor pin is freaking cool. Oh, and the Carnage, that's nice. Oh my god, Venomized Thor, that's also fantastic. And that Flash, get him while you can, because he's not going to be the Flash for very much longer. Or I think it's all, I think he's honestly, I think his contract's already done. Like, he's, they've already announced that he's not coming back. Game night begins here, look at that, a game table. And a Simpsons arcade machine, that is funky digging that that's one of those like if i had a huge man cave i'd get stuff like that one of the youtuber instagrammers that i follow beskar kid has some um, stormtrooper um playstation controller uh like holders basically i think they're pretty cool check out beskar kid on instagram he's having a great success there recently that carnage lego head is awesome and then I'm also really enjoying seeing these like Lego sets. So like the Big Bang Theory set was a really fun one to build. I really like the Friends set. And then, oh, we got Thor's hammer here. You gotta love to see that. That's pretty cool. Good price on it too. The anti-theft locking mechanisms around these, even though they're out in the open. I hate the fact that Lego boxes get so banged up. I mean, it's not something that I necessarily want to keep, but I was thinking about selling some Lego at one point, and I, you know, got rid of the the arc boxes. It was hard to do. You'd be surprised how much value they still retain potentially. So, anything over here that we have not seen before? Not really. I'm gonna skip some of these sections. Anything that I see is cool. I'll show you guys, of course, like I said earlier. But like those are pretty cool. Look at that horror section. Oh, that was fun. That was real fun. All right, let's get over to the action figures or the figures themselves first. We got McFarlane toys here. 
and they actually have a pretty large section of McFarlane. I do see some Batman the Animated Series around the corner, but no spoilers yet. Let's see what they've got. I am very excited for the in-art Batman. I am. After seeing some of those updated images the other day, I think they're going to be pretty sweet. I still don't know if I'm going to pick it over the Hot Toys, though, but we'll see. Remains to be seen. It looks amazing. Really good detail. These ones are a little too big. I don't know why somebody would want this size of figure in their collection specifically. Unless, like, unless all your figures, I guess, were that size. But like, they're significantly larger than the McFarlane standard, and I do find that they're hard to display as they are. So, love the classic packaging. And that Storm is on sale for $14.99. Like, again, that may come home with me. Not something I was necessarily toy hunting for, but like, who doesn't want a good Storm in their collection? Oh, we got the Black Series uh, helmet down here as well. That's alright. I haven't seen one of those, I don't think, at Toys R Us in the time that I've come through. I've got the Mandalorian one. And the Mandalorian uh, Black Series helmet is fantastic. Definitely recommend it if you're interested in, in having one in your collection that's still reasonably affordable. That Black Chrysanthemum as well. Very, very cool. What else have we got here? The Star Wars Black Series. A decent amount of them they have a lot of repeated stock again though like i've had a better selection i think at some of the comic book stores that i've been to at least in terms of the black series star wars hey this is cool i don't think i've seen the george lucas uh disguise stormtrooper yet actually in person i got a whole peg of them here too 50 bucks though damn like i don't know if i like it that much is that bad to say it looks like George Lucas, I will give it that. These cool, like, retro figures. Look at these. Oh, they're all different colors. Oh, man. Is the back one a different color? Let's see. It is. Oh, wow. That's awesome. What else do we get? Oh, the Mandalorian kit, if you want to become the Mandalorian. is here cool stuff so we got marvel select which again it wasn't like wasn't hunting for marvel select but every time i see these here on the pegs like they definitely catch my eye I, I think that they're very very well done the pricing on them is a little bit high though for me like it feels like a slippery slope but every time i see this classic wolverine for the marvel select line i'm all over it and that punisher is also really really cool like a hundred bucks for two figures well technically three if i got the punisher but feels a little bit pricey maybe i don't know maybe that's just me this hulk is also really cool interesting 70 dollars though wow i can just imagine a parent bringing their kid through the toys r us at this point and the kid's like wow daddy i love that hulk and he hands it to you and you're like okay little timmy Let's get it for you. How much is it? Seventy dollars. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Definitely don't bring your kids into this store if you don't intend on spending money. <laughs> oh, this Hercules is marked down too. Nineteen bucks. Not too bad. Not too bad. What else do we have? Cyclops. Don't like the hair on that Cyclops. Ugh. Didn't enjoy this film, honestly. I like I watched it the first time, I was like, okay, it wasn't bad. Watched it a second time, was really, really annoyed by like half the acting. So I don't think I'll watch it again. That Bucky Barnes is cool. And that really looks like Christian Bale for that Legends series. So good on you, Legends series. I've been really enjoying actually watching Small Talk recently on collecting weekly i definitely recommend that show if you haven't heard of it before if you are a toy hunting fan and you like marvel select you like some of the smaller lines and you're not necessarily into six scale again the channel it's uh on collecting weekly and the uh the show itself is called small talk but definitely subscribe to those guys because there's a lot of good stuff over there and uh i get a chance to be on with them every tuesday talk a little bit about six scale uh if you guys like my tours and you want to uh, tune into those every Tuesday night at 7.30 Mountain Standard Time for the Collecting Weekly live show. But 
again, they're small talk. If you like talking about Marvel Select, uh, Black Series, and all those types of options, tune in. What else do we have here? Classle, Castle, Classle, <laughs> Grey Skull. Very nice. Right at kicking level. So if you want to collect the box, don't collect it <laughs> from Toys R Us. What do we have here? Lightyear. You know what? I just watched this film the other night. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, is it a film I'd watch again? Maybe. It wouldn't, I wouldn't go out of my way to watch it again. But I liked the twist in it. So again, I don't want to give any spoilers away just in case you haven't seen it. But I did like the twist in it. Didn't necessarily see that coming. Uh, and there were some really good emotional beats in the in the film. I like films that have a little bit of uh, science fiction and time travel built into it. So it's good. Definitely, uh, definitely take it a, take it for a watch. These are cool. I've got one of the smaller scale options of these uh, that Walmart put out, I think. And uh, it's diecast. They're really cool. Now we've got some DC Direct figures here as well, which is nice. I like that Superman. That's really nice. The deceased Green Lantern from DC uh, Direct has got me every time as well. And these were the Batman animated series figures I saw from the other corner. I'm hoping, hoping for a red, uh, red hood. Oh, these are all Batman. These are literally, they're literally all Batman. You hate to see it. What else do we have? McFarlane. That Batgirl is pretty cool. Oh, I like that black suited Superman actually better than the other one. Very cool. Ooh, the reverse flash is nice. I like that. A lot of these are repeats though, I think, for the most part. Unless you guys haven't caught some of my other videos, then they're not necessarily repeats. But that Harley's nice. But then you get the Build-A-Figure piece, which I do like, but like who wants half a King Shark? So then I have to find all the other pieces. It's just, it's how they get you. It's how they get you. <laughs> that guy's funny. All the wrestling figures. Let me know in the comments, do any of you guys collect these wrestling figures? Do you want me to feature them a little bit more in these videos? Because uh, almost every store I have gone into has the wrestling figures, but they do have to seem to have like pretty decent selections of different ones. So if you guys collect them, again, let me know definitely in the comments below. Wouldn't be a toy store without some G.I. Joe, which I do appreciate. That crocodile is pretty sweet. But what are your thoughts on this toy store, guys? I mean, I would say that of the toy tours that I've been to in the last little while, I really only loved that section of the horror figures. But otherwise, I'd say this is, this is probably the worst Toys R Us in town, even though it's the biggest location. So that's a bit of a bummer. But I'm happy you guys stuck it out with me. Thanks for watching all the way to the end here. I definitely appreciate you. What do we got here? Oh, Hammond. Love to see it. That's awesome. But either way, guys, if you guys like this video, look at me dropping literally things as I'm trying to talk to you here. Uh, look at John Hammond on the back there. You gotta love to see his little picture. And the Hammond collection. That's actually what I was looking for for Zach. So I'm gonna send him a couple of pictures to see this. See if he likes them. But if you guys like this video, hit the like button for me, smash the subscribe, and we will catch you on the next Toy Store Tour. Thanks for watching.